and today I'm playing Jail Town Love um, Dating Simulator demo, demo again. I hope the the audio is a little bit better. And uh, let's. Oh gosh, I can't. <laughs> I forgot how to use this. Let's load the game. Let's load it. Not do you wish to load to save? Why not? Yeah. So I really hope this is better. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Back to Sultan. Let's see for a tent. Where would you like to go? Um. Back to the park. Let's go back to the park. Because why the hell not? I can't remember what was said to the characters on last episode because it's been a week since I last filmed. It was last Monday and now it's again Monday. I uploaded the first episode today and I watched the video and I was like, oh gosh, that audio is so bad. I forgot how bad it is. Like now I'm not sick anymore either, so um, I should be able to make this a little bit longer and talk a little bit longer. I hope. <laughs> Live there. Where would you like to go? Um, hmm, back to the uptown street from once again. Um, yeah, let's go there. Okay, yeah. Um, talk to the local bystander. Oh, it's a normal phone. Huh? How do you do, cream partner? To announce Mikey, which is short for M. Uh, uh, uh. Actually, scratch ad. Mikey works just fine. Hey, my name is Quichin. Me, Quichin. Ha, hello. Well, pleased to make your quarantine partner. So, what can I do for you, fair? On this fine spring afternoon. <laughs> Hello, can you take me to the fun fair, please? Ah, oh, shucks, partner. I would don't get me wrong. But Alice, I'm actually on my way to the book signing. You're looking at Dialdo's new bestseller, why, right there? <laughs> That's fine, man. I was merely trying to use you for a free ticket. Basically, I'm trying to scam sucker into paying me into the fun fair. I'm just a sponge, you say. Merrily champ punch scum. <laughs> well, no, ain't that the coin cutting? <laughs> oh, all of my bestsellers happen to be about pers parasites of all kinds. You won't find a man who knows more about par parasitism in all the diet down partner. Speaking of, let me know what I can do for you, Verb, cause any longer and I'll be running 30. 30. So if you're on parasites, are you in the main? No offense, but I find your mildly upsetting to quack at. None taken, I get that a lot. Thought you have to happen to have, say, a few tape phones wrinkling around in that old guys of yours. Give me a call! It's so good, food. If you do, then might be some free ice bad crap in this for you. It's kinda edible. What? What kind of creature do you take me for, huh? You look like you'd probably eat what I have in my back. You're totally right, I would. Is it gibble? Gib Can I have some? Call me later and find out, partner. For now, instead of all. Hey, Mikey, give me a parasite fact. You know. There's a whole world of screwed up critters on here, and I would lo I love all of that. 
you know, plus a creature out there, a little ice pod called Tonga Loss. That lives in the ocean and hop oh It crosses in the fish's mouth, rips off the fish's tongue, and becomes its new tongue. Oh, I have heard about that. I've heard about that. Yeah, honestly, that's pretty relatable. Sounds like something I don't want to do. <laughs> yep. Thanks for the fact. My insides feel it, you know. And it's hard, bud. Say, what's the latest book about? My current book's all about people who are parasites. Like, what about me? I just saw a big bug flying outside my window. I'm not sure what it was, but it looked creepy. I had bugs. Now, nah, people, you know, flesh card, beautiful critters. Flesh card means nothing to me. Flesh can be different colors. Can't say I've ever seen it green, though, I, I, I mean. Suppose you want a copy of my latest book, would ya? Are, are there pictures in it? So are, partner. At least one per chapter. Other words? Would I have to read? Yeah, I mean, it is a book. Pass. Hard pass. Well, shucks. Can't say I didn't try. Is that it then, partner? Time for me to scuttle off then. Let us. Right off then, so you're not a partner. So Let's talk to the hobo again. How about your child showing us someone in Oh, hey, little partner. What's the house? Aren't you afraid that you'll be arrested for standing on the road? What is a traffic cop to got caught? And what is a cop to, non to a non-believer? Honestly, no judgment here, pal. I don't really believe in myself either, to be frank. <laughs> Bunch card. <laughs> you fool! I'm a card! How can you kill a card? What a grand and intoxicating and innocence! How could you be so naive? I. Okay, I am going to have just shit myself. We run this round, green one. I'm drunk right now. Is it is it 11 a.m. yet? I'm awake and moving, so yes, it must be at least noon. Then I am in the moments away from several lover failure. Yes. What's your favorite hobby? You've eaten broken crash or shiny rocks before? I don't recommend it, but still don't knock it till you've tried it. I'm a parcel to taste of caramel myself. Caramel? What are you, some kind of weirdo? I missed forage for normal things to eat if you're gonna scavenge. Like broken grass, glass and shiny rocks. See, there we go. If you're a god, what's the meaning of life then? You want me to come up with a reason for you all of this existing? Don't you remember why you created the universe? I remember what I ate this morning. I probably ate trash, knowing me. So, can you like, come up with the meaning of life right now? That you come up with the meaning of life. Uh, it probably be a million times more current uh, than what I could think of. I think the meaning of life. 
is the eats or be eaten. That's the spirit. I want to be as creepy as I can. <laughs> I hate pulling allergy. <laughs> that if you were meant to devour everyone around you I wouldn't have created a promotion to be mad and totally out of food it's kill or be kill oh I actually I accidentally was talking with the whole boss voice it's kill or be killed sir sure, why not it's fact or be fucked okay wait <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm loving this idea. But please don't fuck a cactus under the assumption that I if you don't fuck it, it'll fuck you first. <laughs> cactus? Okay. Or actually, maybe do. I'm curious and kinda wanna see what'll happen. I gotta get going! Okay, okay! So, see you in a trance! Ah, leave the area. Where would you like to go? Down, down, dial down! There's still a lot to do! <gasps> I'm in a metro? I've never been in a metro, so I don't know what they look like. I think that that it, that was a metro. It could have been train too, but I think it was a metro. Ah, uh, downtown, dial town. What the air tastes like crystal meth, and crystal meth tastes like a smog. So, what now? Read notes on an airplane phone pole. And yep, I'll teleport directly into your research. God, what the fuck? You hope to notice something, anything that'll somehow help you get into that fun fact. Um, let's see. Okay, let me read the first advert loud. Hiya, I'm Funkos the Clown! What the fuck is this? Clowns don't even exist anymore! But don't you believe in Bigfoot? What different kettle of fish? Bigfoot is real, clowns are not. Bigfoot is a feral primordial ape who lives in the woods and is only ever seen through hasty disposable camera photos. Exactly! He might as well be my uncle! Clowns are literally just people with funny red noses who isn't any less easy to comprehend. You think clowns are people? Don't lay X. You play X. My point exactly. <laughs> I mean, imagine having a head covered in disgusting flesh. What a crapper can rip red bulbous tumor attached to your face. That fucking honks. They have a gigantic shoes but drive around in comical tiny cars comically co comically tiny cars they blow up balloons as if such antics and merriment are many many all. they are truly wretched creatures i like clowns not the happy 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 ones who entertain children i like the creepy ones the monster clowns. Huh, I had no idea that you felt this way. Awful beings. Okay, so should we skip over Frankel's Edward then? Fuck that, read the clown page. It might be funny. But you said! Fuck it, you're impossible. Read the clown page! Read the clown page! I'm reading it. I'm reading it. Let's see here. Hi, boys and girls. I'm Frankos the Clown. I really need money. 
I'm a real clown. I'm not licensed, but I am not. No, I am al now also dabbling in plumping and dance. I'll do just about anything for four dollars. Please, hard clown. I'll do anything. I'm living in a storm tree right now. You think any desk is too lonely for this clown? Four dollars, by God, you can afford that. Come on, I have a shame of fee. There's a whole batch of this. Skip to the end then. Yours, thankfully. Frank calls the clown. Honk, honk. Huh? Wow. Hey, do I have after? Uh, I think that we. Whip whip flash I got from hearing that is gonna make me vomit. I have a corporeal form and I think I might vomit. Wait, what even are you? Physically? I guess I'm like this body voice. Wait, how does it even work? Are you seriously asking this body voice that only you can hear and rush to explain itself to you? Uh, Daya, that's exactly what I'm asking you to do. You're fucking crazy, man. I know I'm crazy. <laughs> Stop following me around. That's a good advice. Uh, so I am just refuse to follow it. Okay, fuck it. Let's see what else is on here. Oh, there's another one. Red the chimpanzee. Good start. Hey you. Yeah you. Hey you wanna take the chimpanzee out of 14? Here's a little of her sign. None of this reads a full sexual maturity. But just as adorable as ever. Just don't let him near. Give pets open spaces for your people. It's only four dollars, my God. You can afford. Okay, this is clearly that Frank was a clown character again. And narrator, can I borrow four dollars to rent the chip? Your stomach is swollen with axe, you drunk light. You need to focus. Right, right, sorry, sorry. I'll wear that chin platter then. Or not at all? Right, right. Are there any other advertisement latches on that ball? Yeah, there's exactly one. Phone sex hotline. Huh? Somehow, I don't think you're gonna get anywhere with this one. Wanna bounce? Do you have any better ideas? <laughs> Consider again the bounce. We're calling that number again. Okay, okay, if you insist. How you even gonna make the call? Dot, dot, dot. To the nearest phone booth away! Here we are. Teltown's only phone booth. It costs 25 um, cents. Since half of like all people got their heads replaced with rotary phones, I dare say that this thing hasn't much use since then. Honestly, this booth is bigger on the inside. It all seems to use up the Ability so only to contain far more field than this one particular fetish box should be able to contain. Oh come on, is it really that bad? Full stairs, there's a strong smell of urine here. All of the buttons on the keypad are sticky with gum and there's a dead raccoon on the floor. Uh, can I name the coon? No, you'll just get attached.
dot 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 Um <laughs> What did Tesla say? Sorry, it was an accident. <laughs> yeah. Ah, his name is Buklo. Dot 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 You're not skipping it, I'm skipping it And that's final Damn it <laughs> Rocko friend gained Woohoo, I got a Rocko friend Sigh You ready? Sir, I am Read the number Glad to see more enthusiasm, 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 enthusiasm. I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure one of those were correct. I, I, okay, none of them were correct. I don't know how to pronounce it. The number is, uh, no, enthusiasm was for now. I don't get it. What's the number? It's, uh, wait, 1,080 Shit. Dot, dot, dot. You sure you're ready? Ah. Uh, I've never been more ready in my life. Huh? No answer. Bastard phone! Yeah, might be less the phone's fault and more so yours for not putting 25 cents in the phone box console. Huh? Do I have 25 cents? If you had money, we would be on this very quest in this first place. Ah, shit. Look, point is, you need to figure out what to do now. You gentless. So, what's the plan? <sighs> Bang really hard on the phone box and hope it works. Oh, please. Like that, it won't work. Bang, bang, bang. Oh, shit. This is actually working. I'm prepared for a sexual gratification. <laughs> I never see it again. Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm feeling ready tonight. I'm sorry. My boss forced me to say that. I really should have just lied about my name. I'd like to feel ready tonight. Uh, oh, is is that flirting? I, I shouldn't be surprised. I mean, why else would you have called phone sex hotline? <laughs> Sorry, I'm such an idiot. Uh, no, wait, don't hang up. I can be macro and sexy. It, I was just distracted a second ago because you called me at work. <sighs> I mean, duh, don't you work at the phone sex hotline? <laughs> I mean, yes, of course I do, but it's only a side job. I, I have to make enough to pay my rent, which is lovably high. So then what exactly is your main job then? During the day, I work at Bird Bank, Frank Alert for downtown animal control. I'm kind of in the middle of Stop dying a hostess one right now. <laughs> Wait, did you just say you're fighting a swan? Uh, I mean, it's not that I'm fighting a swan. I'm, I'm more like I'm trying my darnest to subdue and capture it before it breaks the havoc. What kind of heaven could a swan cost exactly? 
Oh, uh, you know, it probably just hung at the bus, maybe ruin a few family picnics. My god. Armageddon! I'm sorry, I... I got all caught up in our swan talk. You see, most customers call kinda, you know, later. Only weirdos that wanna talk dirty with a complete stranger on the lunch break during 12 hour shift at the Lyleton Battery Factory. Uh, I mean, no pens. Uh, Randy, you're fucking horrendous at this job. God, I know. You got to release your massive sexual frustration and here's the main talking about swans and batteries. Nobody wants to hear about swans and batteries when they're trying to get off. Maybe I do want to hear about swans and big cheesy batteries, you know. Uh, wow. Wow. Uh, the, uh, somehow an infinitely more uncomfortable than I was before, which is to my knowledge, was peak level. Is there anything else you wanted to talk about? Um, um, what's your sexuality, Randy? <laughs> a bigger can be choosers, yeah. So, as you said, the sexuality. So, you're saying you like begging? I'm begging you to tell me what you want from me. Are you trying to take my flesh? Are you trying to steal my organs? Uh, your organs are a date. It's one of the other, Randy. Ex excuse me? Funfair! Take me to the funfair! It's that or I will devour your organs. Organs. I demand no more and no less from you, Randy. Are you... Are you asking me out on a... A date? Yeah, well, it's... Less of a date and more like an egg-laying arrangement. Who cares? It's technically a real-life date? I've never been asked out on a date before! Usually I'm the dude who has to beg people to drink coffee with me and to resist the urge to throw the scalping beverage in my face during the sordid ordeal of taking me out. So you're in? I, I sure as heck I am! What do I have to lose? <laughs> well, I could be like a serial killer and murder you for your skin or whatever. Well, as I always say, at first it's still so probably just kill me, which is best for everyone, including myself. Good. Uh, this is very well, my uh, good one, our words to live by. So, when do you want to do this? Does right now work? I mean, I'm kind of broke right now. And you know, this one isn't gonna wrangle itself. I'm heavily pregnant. Yes, I understand. It's it is now or never, Randy. I. All right. I guess I can leave in a few minutes. Uh, take your time, my sweet. <laughs> It's okay, my time is actually worth very little. It's better if I just run so I get all sweaty and you can smell the scent of swamp massacre and desperation over all my overwhelming body odor. If my manager asks later, I'll just say that this one won. It always does anyway. Get you at the fun fair, my, my sweet. Uh. See you later, goodbye! Th thank the bone lower that my pants are already wet with the bone water and the swim saliva. Otherwise, I'd have to change my pants right now, right about now. I I'll, I'll see you there! Okay, this is... 
What then? Looks like you've whistled your way in the fun fair after all. X! Not yet, Cookie Chain. Soon! Come on, let's go! You've got a day, don't to, day to attend! So, what now? Let's talk to the nearby basketball. Oh, it's a violin! And... You need something, Gemite? Who are you? Oh, you nubby, my tall friend! The name's Nathan Honowell, Koima. Please to make your acquaintances sense. Sorry for me a semite, but I'm running quite late for very bored of that. Alright, be off with you now. Right, get this done now, so get on what's a fully have for ammo and chips. Nice meeting you, Tara. Yeah. And let's go see. Oh my gosh, there's so much. Oh, there's so much places you can go. But I need to go to the fun fair right now. So let's see. Oh, where would you like to go? The fun fair. Let's go to the fun fair. Because we need to go to the fun fair. Okay. So you ready to meet Franti at the gates? So let's do it. I mean, uh, come on. You, you, you've got a day to catch. Oh no. Take a cherry, my friend. Oh Lord, help me! Why can I just have an average day of work? Look, ma'am. As I said, I'm not willing to just let you in just to get off, just to get you off my back, and I'm not willing to take you myself. So unless you're suddenly able to pull a romantic partner out of yours, he's coming. Who is? He, Randy. Did you actually manage to rope some poor sucker into paying you into the fun fair? Or is this some kind of bizarre and whimsical distraction designed to hold my attention while the weird stomach enzymes dissolve and gaping a hole in a vent for you to climb through? Um. Damn, I wish I'd come up with that idea myself. Yeah, I figured you'd be able to do that. You look like you got spit I said. Is it the green skin? Yeah, I'm gonna have six of that Uh This. A that's Randy person. I actually know a few Randys, you know. Wait. Randy's? Randy? Randy? Sorry, but is I know a Randy or two. Say, does your Randy happen to be really bad and scrawny covered in bandages? Because it smells like sweat, desperation, and swan rage? Yeah, that's that's about right, actually. Yeah, I'm glad Randy's got someone's bed. He's won't I with won't I stay with this here? Quite a pity that it's with a little corporate who just wants to use him as a spawn in her ex a clan plan. Trust me not, Placid get dispenser. Pathetic. Only phone god may judge me. H hey, uh, sorry I'm late. I had to roll around a in a puddle to get this one blood off my clothes for the big date. Fuck face! 
That's his force the interface. Ah, who am I kidding? We both know the floor was exclusively mine. Yep. But hey, uh, um, you, you look marvelous, my my sweet. Uh, you must be working with Boston Randy because you look like a snake. I uh I don't know how to respond to that to be frank. On the other uh, Are you saying that you eat Rodkill? Astounding Even when she tries to flirt she comes off as a pushy Dwelling crown. His. I can't believe you're actually going through with this little scam of yours. What are you talking about, Cherry? She's using you, Randy. We have two for one to get promotion for Valentine's Day for couples. She just wants you to pay her in so she can lay her eggs in a moist pit somewhere in the fun fair. Oh, I mean... Uh, yeah, yeah I, I knew that. You knew? And still you came? Becker's can be chosen, Cherry. Randy Sigh Fine It's your funeral then That'll be two dollars then Randy Okay, I should have two dollars If you don't have two dollars, I will fucking kill you I uh, I should have about two or so dollars here uh, Maybe slightly less you know what? Just go right in, Randy. R really? Yeah, I've had enough of this wretch of a creature for you today. Uh, just for that, I'm laying my eggs on one of your pussy stripes. Randy, please just get this creature out of my sight! Y yes, sir. Uh, come on, hon. L let's go do some romance like a couple of love birds. Uh, X. Regret. Well, here we are, my love. Uh, uh, the Dial Town Fun Fair in all its grey. So, safety inspection fail, glory. So, my love, what shall we do first? X. Oh, uh, right. Uh, you wanna just uh, lay those right now? You know, get over with it. Well, I would if you stop staring, Randy. So sorry, sorry, I'll. Does this help? Shut up! Okay, ma'am. Paint grunting. Agonized grunting. You okay, hon? Distress roaring. What's the matter? Aren't you like heavily pregnant? I've got stage fright. Ah, uh, right. So, uh, what now? Hmm. We could always go on a few rides. So, if we can shake the eggs out of my gut. Wow. That absolutely wretched. But I mean, I guess we can try. Right, X, now! 
fuck anything for you, my love. Uh, I wish I uh, could this be. Could this be feeling a little bit love? No way! It's just your ex squirming inside of you. <laughs> yes, my persona changed back. Hey, what the fuck? Phone Lord, I think I come to her. Uh, I swear if I have to go on one more vomit coaster. We are not here, Randy. I'm ready to lay my eggs. Uh oh. Good then. R right, uh, right here. Yes. This stitch is squalid and dank. Damp and throughly most. In close proximity to hot dog stand. Yes, a perfect nesting location. Right uh, Do you need me here for this or fetch me a hot dog mating partner? I mean, I can do that, sir. Egg leg is strangely surreal. I require sustenance. Fine! I'll, uh, I'll be right back! With one quality fake crown winner! Who am I kidding? We both know that there'll be rat tails, pickles and horse jerky in the sausage. Okay, so I guess it's the, the sound so damned. <laughs> we can find out at your ex. Huh? Well, would she look at that? My babies! They're, uh, defensive, not hair that crowning. They're, uh, beautiful. Brought her near to her crowning. Mm -hmm. My eye. Freaking Pauline. <laughs> oh, we got the hot dog. Thank you, Randy. Fuck you, Randy! You fucking dropped it! Ha ha ha! Your first boy ever! First date ever! Huh? I suppose this be your ex then. I will die before I let you make an omelette with your unborn babies. No, I. I never do that. Honest! I would never eat eggs like this. What so now my unborn children don't even look appetizing to you? No, no that's not what I meant. It's just that uh, they're quite uh, green. I'd like to see you play better eggs, Randy. In this case, less greener. Okay, th that's fair, I, I guess. I've just, you know, never seen laid on neck before. Wait, I'm okay. Okay, no. So, uh, what now? Throw some topsoil, topsoil over the eggs and... Good. My baby's so safe and sound. Okay, so like... The eggs have been laid, but the night is still young. We would... Should like, seize the moment, deem the crab... Carp. I can... I can read. Yeah, deem the carp, deem the carp! <laughs> oh yeah. What shall we do first? Go play some dumb carnival games, thread the hot dog stands. Wouldn't I have to walk to all those places? Yeah, a whole 10 meters that away. 
Oh dear. He appears that Randy wants you to walk. You have any yards to your left? Fuck, oh fuck! I just slayed a bunk ton of eggs. My legs are jelly. My legs are limp and flaccid. Yeah. Also, never use the word flaccid around me again. Thanks. What do? Okay, calm down. Just look around for something to do. Something slightly closer, 10, 10 meters away. Something you can crawl over to if you have to. Crawl, hot dog, activity. I'm sorry, what? Also, maybe stop talking to me in front of Randy. You're probably scaring him because you sound like a wonder feral animal right now. I'm a wonder feral animal. Wounded. I can't. I can't read. Oh shit. Ugh. Hon, are you alright? Do, do you need a glass of water or whatever comp of whiskey and bad nectar you will kind likely consume? Panic! Uh, hon, you just say the word panic out loud. Fortune teller! What, what? Look around, Randy. Look, Randy. I can't read. Exactly two easy crawl meters that away. Is that a fortune teller or animatronic? Madame Medigar Mediocre I can't read Look, I don't know, I kinda have bad it sounds like a bad idea, you know. But dear Randy Don't you want to gaze into your future? I, I mean, my present is already bad enough. Uh, and the science is that the machine is out of order. That won't stop us, Randy. I didn't know. I think seeing the next hopefully must be done. 40 years of misery I have left on this hellscape of an orb all at once to just to destroy the last fabric of my future look I I can't be here right now I'll I'll see you around you know I he left huh huh that's odd since a friend who really didn't like the idea of hearing about his own future, I wonder why is that? I mean, like you said, look at his present. For all we know, his future could be an improvement through. So, oh come on, we all know it that it won't be. What does getting promoted from being a swan wrangler lead to? I, I don't know. Swan therapist? Swan ambassador? Ambas Holy shit. Ambassador? He'd suck at those jobs. Swans hate him. Plus, maybe Randy being promoted is just a pipe dream anyhow. I mean... Would you promote him? I would hire him to begin with. You just dated that dude though. Yeah, well, when you're heavily pregnant, standards go bye-bye. I think I'm gonna be sick. Not too loud, please. The babies are nearby. Come on, then. Let's go home. I thought I couldn't walk, though. Sorry, let me offer a correction. Let's crawl home, then. Oh, shit. Goodbye, my children. I will return to y'all when I can yeah yeah circle of life and all that shit let's just go 
See you all in the full game! Wow! We finished the title. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next video.